Dear friends, this video is chapter 8 of basic skill of concrete batching plant. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction industry. We will discuss about a. Environmental impact of concrete batching plants. b. Regulatory compliance of concrete batching plant. c. Sustainable practices in concrete batching plant. We'll start presenting a new topic now. a. Environmental impact of concrete batching plants. Concrete batching plants can have significant environmental impacts, and it's important to manage and mitigate these impacts to minimize harm to the environment. Some of the key environmental concerns associated with concrete batching plants include 1. Air pollution Issues Dust emissions from various operations, including material handling, mixing, and loading, can contribute to air pollution. These emissions can contain particulate matter, which can be harmful to human health and the environment. Mitigation measures 1a. Implement dust control measures such as dust collectors, baghouses, and water sprays to suppress dust emissions. 1b. Regularly maintain and clean equipment to reduce fugitive dust emissions. 1c. Monitor air quality and comply with emission standards and regulations. 2. Noise pollution. Issues. Concrete batching plants can be noisy due to the operation of equipment such as mixers, conveyors, and crushers. Excessive noise can disturb nearby residents and wildlife. Mitigation measures. 2a. Use noise barriers or enclosures to reduce noise levels. 2b. Schedule noisy operations during off-peak hours or limit noise-intensive activities during sensitive times. 2c. Comply with local noise regulations and standards. 3. Water pollution. Issues. Batching plants use water for mixing concrete and for cleaning equipment. This water can become contaminated with cement, chemicals, and other pollutants and may enter nearby water bodies or soil. Mitigation measures. 3a. Implement measures to capture and treat wastewater before discharge to prevent contamination. 3b. Ensure proper containment and disposal of hazardous materials and chemicals. 3c. Comply with water quality regulations and obtain necessary permits. 4. Energy consumption. Issues. Concrete batching plants require significant energy for operations, including mixing and transportation. High energy consumption can contribute to greenhouse gas emissions and environmental impact. Mitigation measures 4a. Invest in energy-efficient equipment and technologies. 4b. Optimize batching processes to reduce energy consumption. 4c. Explore the use of renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind power. 5. Natural resource depletion. The extraction and use of raw materials like aggregates, sand, and cement can deplete natural resources and lead to habitat destruction. Mitigation measures 5a. Promote the use of recycled materials and alternative, sustainable materials where feasible. 5b. Implement resource-efficient practices to reduce waste and over-extraction. 6. Traffic and congestion. Increased truck traffic associated with concrete deliveries to and from batching plants can lead to road congestion, safety risks, and increased emissions. Mitigation measures. 6a. Plan delivery schedules to minimize congestion during peak traffic hours. 6b. Consider alternative transportation methods, such as rail or barge transport, where feasible. 7. Land use and habitat impact. The construction and operation of batching plants can result in changes to land use and habitat disruption, impacting local ecosystems. Mitigation measures. 7a. Conduct environmental impact assessments, EIAs, to evaluate potential habitat impacts. 7b. Implement measures to minimize habitat disruption and promote ecological restoration. To address these environmental concerns, concrete batching plants should adhere to relevant environmental regulations, obtain necessary permits, and implement best practices for environmental management. Additionally, adopting sustainable and eco-friendly practices, such as using recycled materials and renewable energy sources, can further reduce the environmental impact of concrete production. B. Regulatory compliance, example, emissions, water usage, of concrete batching plant. Concrete batching plants must adhere to a range of environmental regulations to ensure that their operations do not negatively impact the environment or public health. These regulations typically cover emissions, water usage, noise levels, and other environmental concerns. Here are some of the key regulatory compliance aspects for concrete batching plants. 1. Air quality regulations. Emissions of particulate matter, dust, volatile organic compounds, VOEs, and nitrogen oxides, NOx, from concrete batching plant operations are typically regulated to prevent air pollution. Compliance Measures 1a. 
Install dust control systems such as baghouses, dust collectors, or wet scrubbers to capture particulate emissions. 1b. Use low VOC materials and control emissions from material handling and mixing processes. 1c. Regularly maintain and inspect equipment to minimize fugitive emissions. 2. Water usage and quality regulations. Concrete batching plants often use water for mixing and cleaning purposes. They must adhere to regulations that govern water usage and prevent contamination of water bodies and soil. Compliance measures. 2a. Implement water recycling and treatment systems to reduce water consumption and ensure proper treatment of wastewater before discharge. 2b. Obtain permits for water use and wastewater discharge from relevant environmental authorities. 2c. Comply with stormwater management regulations to prevent runoff contamination. 3. Noise regulations. Noise emissions from concrete batching plant operations can be disruptive to nearby communities, and local noise regulations are enforced to minimize disturbances. Compliance measures. 3a. Use noise barriers, enclosures, or silencers to reduce noise emissions. 3b. Schedule noisy operations during off-peak hours to minimize disruptions. 3c. Conduct regular noise monitoring and adhere to local noise limits. 4. Hazardous materials and chemical regulations. Batching plants use various chemicals and materials, including cement, admixtures, and fuel. They must handle and store these materials safely to prevent environmental contamination. Compliance measures. 4a. Store hazardous materials in accordance with safety regulations. 4b. Ensure proper containment and disposal of hazardous waste materials. 4c. Implement spill prevention and response procedures. 5. Land use and zoning regulations. Compliance with land use and zoning regulations is essential to ensure that batching plants are established in suitable locations and do not interfere with neighboring land uses. Compliance measures. 1a. Obtain the necessary land use permits and zoning approvals before establishing a batching plant. 1b. Ensure that the plant is located in an area zoned for industrial or commercial use. 6. Permitting and reporting. Concrete batching plants are often required to obtain environmental permits and licenses that specify operating conditions, emission limits, and reporting requirements. Compliance measures. 6a. Apply for and maintain all required environmental permits. 6b. Submit regular reports and emissions data to regulatory agencies as mandated by permits. 7. Environmental Impact Assessments, EIAs. In some cases, an EIA may be required before establishing a concrete batching plant to assess potential environmental impacts and propose mitigation measures. Compliance Measures 7a. Conduct EIAs as required by local and national regulations. 7a. Implement mitigation measures recommended in the EIA report. Concrete batching plant operators must stay informed about local, state, and national environmental regulations, obtain the necessary permits, and regularly assess and update their operations to ensure ongoing compliance. Failure to comply with these regulations can result in fines, penalties, and operational restrictions. C. Sustainable Practices in Concrete Batching Plant Incorporating sustainable practices in concrete batching plants is essential to minimize environmental impacts, reduce resource consumption, and promote long-term viability. Here are some sustainable practices that can be adopted. 1. Use of recycled materials. Incorporate recycled aggregates, fly ash, and supplementary cementitious materials, SEMs, like slag and silica fume into concrete mixes. This reduces the demand for virgin materials and minimizes waste. 2. Efficient energy use. 2a. Invest in energy-efficient equipment and technologies for batching, mixing, and curing processes. 2b. Utilize waste heat recovery systems to capture and reuse heat generated during production. 3. Renewable energy sources. Consider using renewable energy sources like solar panels or wind turbines to power plant operations. This can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and energy costs. 4. Water recycling and management. 4a. Implement water recycling systems to reuse water in batching and cleaning processes, reducing overall water consumption. 4b. Capture and treat rainwater for use in non-potable applications within the plant. 5. Emission reduction technologies. 5a. Install advanced emission control equipment like baghouses, wet scrubbers, and selective catalytic reduction, SER, systems to reduce air pollutant emissions. 5b. Explore carbon capture and utilization, CCU, technologies to capture and utilize carbon dioxide emissions. 6. Lean production principles. 
6a. Apply lean production principles to reduce waste, improve efficiency, and optimize resource use in concrete production. 6b. Implement just-in-time, JIT, manufacturing practices to minimize inventory and storage needs. 7. Green Building Certifications. 7a. Seek green building certifications, such as LEED, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, for concrete projects. This encourages sustainable construction practices and the use of environmentally friendly materials. 8. Material Efficiency. 8a. Minimize material waste by accurately batching materials and optimizing mixed designs. 8b. Implement waste reduction strategies to reduce the amount of waste generated during production. 9. Life Cycle Assessment, LCA. 9a. Conduct life cycle assessments to evaluate the environmental impact of concrete mixes and identify opportunities for improvement. 9b. Optimize mixed designs based on LCA results to reduce the overall carbon footprint. 10. Environmental Management Systems, EMS. 10a. Implement an EMS, such as ISO 14001, to systematically manage environmental aspects and impacts. 10b. Regularly monitor and audit plant operations for compliance with environmental objectives and targets. 11. Employee training and awareness. 11a. Educate plant personnel about sustainable practices and encourage them to participate in environmental stewardship. 11b. Create a culture of sustainability within the organization. 12. Local sourcing and transportation. 12a. Source materials locally to reduce transportation emissions and support the local economy. 12b. Optimize transportation routes to minimize fuel consumption and emissions. 13. Biodiversity and habitat preservation. 13a. Implement measures to protect and enhance local biodiversity and ecosystems around the plant site. 13b. Consider green landscaping and planting native vegetation to promote biodiversity. 14. Community engagement. 14a. Engage with the local community to address concerns and build positive relationships. 14b. Share information about sustainability initiatives and environmental performance with stakeholders. 15. Continuous improvement. 15a. Regularly assess and update sustainable practices to incorporate new technologies and best practices. 15b. Set measurable sustainability goals and track progress over time. By integrating these sustainable practices into concrete batching plant operations, you can reduce environmental impacts, enhance efficiency, and contribute to a more sustainable and responsible concrete industry. These practices not only benefit the environment but can also lead to cost savings and improved market competitiveness. Friends, we have explained in brief about environmental and regulatory compliance of concrete batching plant, environmental impact of concrete batching plants, regulatory compliance of concrete batching plant, sustainable practices in concrete batching plant. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comment section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Inframechanizer, this is 100% free.